Hi guys, so today I'm going to be unboxing my April Ipsy and my April BoxyCharm. I just figured it'd be easier to do both in the same video, so let's just get started. So I'm going to start out with my April Ipsy, um, and this is what the bag looks like for this month. It's super cute, and it's got a really cute like wooden ring, like the zipper part. But yeah, it's super cute and I really like the color. So the first thing that I got in my bag is the item that I picked for this month and it's the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. Comes in this cute little pot, like a moisturizer consistency. I've used this like three or four times now and I do, I really, really like it. Um, it's really hydrating, a little bit goes a long way so um, it's really nice. It also smells like lavender, so um, that's pretty nice too. But yeah, so far um, I really like it. It just makes my skin feel hydrated and really, really soft, and it just keeps my makeup looking and nice and fresh throughout, throughout the day, so I really like this. The next thing that I got in my bag is a, um, a pencil eyeliner, and I don't know how to pronounce that brand name, but that's what the name is and it's just a black eyeliner pencil um i haven't used this yet on my eyes but i have swatched it and it's like super um it's really black and really creamy so i can't i can't wait to use this on my eyes one day the next thing that i got in my bag is from seraphine botanicals and it's their berry and juice vegan lip gloss um this is what the actual packaging looks like. I got mine in the shade Rose Current. Um, it's super pretty and this one is full size and it does smell like um, berries. It smells super good and um, yeah, it's just a really pretty like rosy shimmery gloss. I've used this a few times now and I really do like it. It has a doe foot applicator. So yeah, I really like this lip gloss. I feel like this is going to be a go-to for me. Like I said, I've been wearing it um, a few times lately, so yeah, I really like this. The next thing that I got in my bag is from Nomad, and it's their um, little matte eyeshadow. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I know it's like in really tiny writing, but it's just a really pretty matte, warm, transition brown shade. I have this um, all over my all over my lids and on my lower lash line. It's just a really pretty matte um, warm brown. So yeah, I really like it and it's really pretty for like simple looks like this or it'd be like a really nice trans transition shade. And then the last thing that I got in my bag is from Estate Cosmetics and it's their Dumi Baked Highlighter in the shade Lit. This is what the little compact looks like it's super cute and I like the light pink and yeah it's just a really pretty baked um, golden champagne highlight now when I first like got this I thought maybe it might be a little too golden and too dark for me but um, it comes off really light on the skin I am wearing it as my highlight today it's super pretty and a little bit goes a long way it's it's really blinding so i really love this highlight and i also have it on my inner corner and brow bone too so yeah it's super pretty i've been wearing this a lot lately too so yeah that was everything in my april ipsy bag i think this bag was really really good this month i liked everything that I got besides um, I haven't tried the eyeliner yet but like I said I did swatch it and it seemed really nice but um, yeah everything else I've been using a lot over the past few days or so so yeah I really liked my um, ipsy bag this month so now I'm going to move on to my April boxy charm so I finally got a card in my box this month for the last like couple months I haven't gotten um, these cards that we usually get so for April the theme is festival vibes and I got variation number four so the first thing that I'm gonna start out with in my boxy charm is my choice item and it's the Elemis superfood calm hydration juice I don't know how to say <laughs> that first word but um, yeah it's just a hydration hydration juice like serum type 
skincare product. It's super pretty. I love the green and it's a really nice glass bottle. And the other thing that I love about the packaging is the top. It has a locking so you twist to open it and then you can pump it down and then you twist it back the other way and it's completely locked. So if you wanted to travel with this, this would be really nice because you know it's going to be locked and secure and it won't leak. So so this retails for $48. I have used this like a few times now and so far so good. I really like it. It um, makes my skin feel like really nice and hydrated and it has like a nice cooling um, effect. It also smells really good. But so far it doesn't seem to be irritating my skin or making me break out or anything. So that's really good. So I'm going to keep testing it out and yeah I like it so far I just I also really love just the color of it green is one of my favorite colors so yeah I'm happy to have this so the next thing that I got in my box are the Hank and Henry beauty sponges these retail for $20 um, but I don't know if that's just like $20 for this set or if it's $20 for like the big one because on the packaging it does say like BoxyCharm and Hank and Henry so I don't know if this like two pack is just specific to the box or if you can buy them like that but yeah this is what the big sponge looks like and it's got the Hank and Henry little logo stamped into it it's like a like pyramid triangle-ish shape um, it's really like soft it does feel kind of like firm I um, I've always just used the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. That's the only sponge I've ever used and ever tried. But I am going to give this a try. I haven't used them yet. Um, and this is also the, the little one that's super cute. Um, they're both like really soft and squishy. So I'm curious to see how they feel when they're wet because this is just dry. Um, and like I said, I haven't used them yet. So... Um, yeah, I'm curious to see how these will work, so I'm excited to try them out. The next thing that I got in my box is the Benefit, the Professional um, Smoothing Pore Filling Face Primer. This is like the original pore filling one. Now, I'm not going to use this or keep this um, just because I feel like it might be a little too dry for my skin. Um, and I just don't really use pore filling primers that often. If I do, it is, I always just use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer or the Touch and Soul um, pore filling one. I'm going to save this for a giveaway, but this does retail for $32. And then the next thing that I got in my box is the Dose of Colors um, Satin Lipstick. I got mine in the shade Butterscotch. Now... Um, I'm also going to be saving this for a giveaway just because because the shade I got is just too um, nude for me. This is the shade Butterscotch. I just feel like um, it'd be a little too pale nude on me and I know I wouldn't like it so I don't want to use it and then, you know, end up not liking it and then I can't do anything with it. So um, I'm just going to save this for a giveaway. So yeah, this is just what the packaging looks like. Um, it does look really pretty though, but I just have a feeling that I wouldn't like the color, so I'm just going to save it for a giveaway. But this lipstick does retail for $17. And then the last thing that I got in my box are these face masks from Tony Moly. There's three of them. There's the illuminating face mask, and then the purifying face mask, and then the calming uh, face mask and the face masks retail for nine dollars. I don't know if that's um, like nine dollars per Like one mask or if it's nine dollars for all three I haven't obviously used these yet, but I am excited to try them out. I love using sheet masks when I just want to um, relax and do some little skincare, so I'm excited to try these. So yeah, that was everything in my April BoxyCharm um, and my April Ipsy. I definitely think my Ipsy bag was um, better this month than my BoxyCharm. Really the only thing that I'm excited about for my BoxyCharm is the um, Elemis skincare and the Hank and Henry um, makeup sponges, but everything else is kind of just 
it was okay. Obviously, um, I'm excited to try out the, the face masks, but the, the face primer and the lipstick I'm going to be saving for a giveaway, so yeah, I, I just, I think BoxyCharm was, it was just okay this month, which is fine because not every month is going to be um, great, but like I said, I am excited to have these two products that I did get in my box, so that's really nice. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you got in your Ipsy bag and BoxyCharm for this month because I was I would love to know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.